much over the last few days I had one of those things that came up um, that just come up quite a lot <coughs> now and again and then it'll go for ages and then but this weekend was very strong I've been using the question um, what does it mean to be the noumenon and not a thing which we talked about a few days ago and with that I felt a tremendous new release of energy and peace coming back to sort of place I'd known before that I felt had um, faded a little bit. And then at the weekend, um, I was just talking to someone and my energy was quite low. And suddenly all these judgments about myself just came up really strong, the way I saw myself, everything. And that threw me off for a day. And I actually sent a question in to you, but it's not been read out. Maybe it's not there yet, but... So I you think can I've, I've got one in there, a little, yeah. Yeah, you can ignore that question now, because I've said it here. And um, I just thought I'd share that. I mean, I feel incredibly peaceful here. And this morning, I just wake up with, woke up with that. I, I like to call it emptiness, but it's just completely pristinely empty and then slowly things come into play come the mind in, yeah, yeah. Um, but that my mind's been pretty quiet today and certainly in this saxon there's uh, a depth of that silence you didn't even need a cup of tea this time to do it <laughs> no i didn't no i thought so, i'd yeah. leave that out today <laughs> well no, got, why is this coming up yeah. then now you mm. know if you if you're really working with this question what is it like to, to not be a thing, to be the mm. self, the noumenon? And then this thing comes up that's all about judgment and sort of, you mm. know, self-criticism and all of that. Mm. If we can, and I know you know this, but it's always good to hear it again, that this is coming up now because once you really begin to work with a question like that, you get this deep and rich desire to experience that all the time. Mm. You don't ever want it to fade. No. But our experience is that it does. So these things have to come up so that we can then examine them. Uh, and the only way then uh, to have constant peace and constant unbroken experience of emptiness is to question whatever seems to interrupt it. So this is coming up to age of questioning mm. rather than to get in the way of it mm. in that, you know. Mm. And sometimes the the question for me began to be um can this be can I be interrupted with this can I be can this be only an experience or can it does it, can it be something that's constant and permanent mm. and if I'm already looking from that place mm. does any thought or emotion need to disturb me when it comes up even mm. this kind of tsunami of self-judgment that happens sometimes mm. when something said or whatever mm. so you've been asking this question what is it like to be that mm. and here's a kind of answer well here's where some part of us still feels that this can affect it but can this be as the self can mm. i be affected when this happens mm. am i actually affected by anything that goes on in the body and mind mm. for a mm. deeper looking mm. i think i was just shocked that it could come up so deeply again because it's usually just very sporadic and it only it's just, just bites only at the heels, but usually. this I was submerged in it completely yeah. for a day. It totally shocked so, me. So here, here is the answer. What is it like to be the noumenon already looking from there? Mm. And the experiences of being submerged in something that you can't seem to get out of. That's mm. what we need to question. Mm. Can this be how it is for the noumenon, for the self, for the awareness, mm. actually? Mm. Can that actually occur for me now? Yes, I'm having an experience of it, but do I have to keep having that experience? And I had to really question this myself. It comes up strongly like that to kind of stimulate some questioning here because you don't want mm. to keep having this experience. No, it's, it's just afterwards it was shown clearly that the emptiness or awareness, whatever we want to call it, the presence was there. 
at that time as well, although it seemed to have disappeared. And it's not very often I have an experience where it seems to completely disappear. That's what freaks me out is when it's like, oh my God, this is totally so, back in person. So yeah, when that happens, are you being a someone or the emptiness? When you're submerged in something like that and the emptiness mm. seems to disappear, mm. then it must be that identity has gone back to believing ourselves uh, to absolutely, be Absolutely, yeah. Someone, That's yeah. what shocked yeah. me, that it was an absolute belief um, and that it just came up blindsided me it's only it's only just saying it's only just nudging to say a little more confirmation needed here mm. that this too cannot affect me mm. even when my attention goes to thoughts and emotions and all of that mm. still i remain as the emptiness unaffected by that mm. whatever my attention is looking at i can't always control mm. but if i know that i'm not affected by that by proving Mm. what remained undisturbed throughout that whole thing yeah. did it actually go no, and didn't. was this happening to me this mm. submergence or in me yeah that's very to clearly seen idea. afterwards that it yeah. didn't actually go that it was still there there was still that awareness or that, that emptiness simultaneously was there with the whatever was going on the paradox and but the other thing i wanted to ask you just briefly if you've got time um the, the, um, so with the question of what's it like to be the noumenon and not a thing kind of throws me into that immediately into that emptiness like the, you know in Neo Advaita they'd say you know there's no me and whenever that thought comes up there's no me it just instantly it's a really it's like, a, it, it acts for me like a question, mm -hmm. what am I? It's like, it'll just say, there's no me, and all of a sudden, whoosh, everything disappears. You said, and what's throwing me a little bit is, you've said once, it's nice to hang out there for a while, but so after this whole thing happened, and I went back to the question, um, what's it like to be the new one I'm not a thing? little thing was biting saying oh but that's just hanging out like Helen says you can't hang well, out there all the time well this is happening so that you can hang out there all the time right mm. what's going to come up is to show you where you still go back to believing yourself to be a someone yeah and yeah. it might not be about actual guilt or anger or shame at this point or self-judgment but the idea the more general idea that whatever's happening to the body mind can affect me and pull me out of my peace or mm -hmm. away from the emptiness mm -hmm. that I am something that can be affected by whatever's happening mm -hmm. in the body and mind so um of course we want that emptiness of course we do but then we must mm -hmm. examine even these ideas that are going to keep us going in and seemingly in and out of it mm -hmm. that's just an experience rather than a constant effortless knowing mm -hmm. in that so do you think it's enough then that it's now been seen? I don't have to kind of keep going into it about, you know. If it needs to be looked at, it'll happen again. Something will yeah. happen. And it might not be that you're submerged for a whole day, maybe it's just a couple of minutes, but you'll notice, hang on, I'm, I'm actually believing here still. I need a little more confirmation here. Yeah, that's what normally yeah. happens, just a quick flash, yeah. and then I'll check into it quite quickly and yeah. can move it. But this one was like... Oh, I'd hate to be in that all the time again. You know, that's how I was all the time before this. If you just, if you take those as little nudges that you could, you could be a little more convinced than you are mm. that you're not affected by any of this. Mm. And it's, it's, there's never a final point of conviction where I, I mean, there's a point where nothing that happens to the body mind touches you and you know that. Mm. But along to that point, you might have to just confirm a little bit deeper. Mm. so it's mm. confirming like before I felt I was really confirming with the question that you gave all the time was I like just having one question I like to keep it simple and then after it's like do I just keep staying with that question is that whatever the experience seems to be I would use that as your question when that thing happens so if my experiences have been deeply affected by some thoughts and emotions mm. I would ask that question Am I actually affected by these? Can I be affected by these? Yeah, I did do Until quite a lot so of that. Until it's so profoundly obvious mm -hmm. that I can't be, that I don't need the question anymore. 
Mm -hmm. That whatever happens to the body mind, I still remain in my equanimity, my peace. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. uh, you know, the body's just doing what it's doing in there. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Thank, Lovely. You Thank you so much. Thank you. Lovely.